Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 38 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Uh, today, I am doing a whole bunch of cool stuff. I've got some crazy things planned uh, to, to get us going deeper into magic, deeper into tech. Uh, we need to get to the end and kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, I've also worked up uh, enough Terra Steel to make my first... Uh, empowered diamond teening it, which should be a good time. Uh, I've also upgraded my altar to a tier 3 altar, as you can see up in the top left corner. Uh, this thing is now a tier 3 altar, and I've spent a lot of time between episodes making all kinds of this stuff. So we're at a point now where I'm at 8.4 buckets, and if I do this, we're at 17.2. So we're getting almost 10 buckets of life essence um, out of the altar every time... Uh, we use the sacrificial dagger thing. Now, I made a glass sacrificial dagger to check it out. This is an item from an add-on mod to Blood Magic called Blood Arsenal. Uh, it's a pretty cool pretty cool mod. Adds, adds some sigils, adds some uh, rituals, adds uh, some other things. What I found is um, the, the glass sacrificial dagger is, is cool but not great. It's, it's neat but not amazing, but it's not bad either. Um, so you need a sacrificial dagger to make it. The sacrificial dagger, uh, basically what I found is the glass sacrificial dagger, when not charged by that thing, is better than the normal sacrificial dagger. And when it is charged by that thing, it's about the same. And I pretty much always want to charge it with that thing, because why wouldn't you, right? So that's pretty much where we're at with the thing. Uh, we also now, so so between episodes, I made a lot of runes, right? Um, lots and lots of standing here crafting. Um, you know, the fact that there's a death point right on top of that sanguine rose. Yeah, I mean, that should indicate to you that we had some things going on. But yeah, between episodes, lots of runes of self-sacrifice upgraded. That's why we have 10 blank runes in our inventory. Because remember, every time you craft a rune, um, so like a blank rune turns into two of the others for most of them for most of them uh some of this is not the case right but like self-sacrifice definitely the case so blank rune becomes two self-sacrifice runes same for um augmented capacity runes and capacity runes one becomes two and they're not too bad to craft so uh i made myself some runes of sacrifice here as you can see uh we still have a few more to make and I did some uh, runes of capacity here, mostly because uh, we need to to do the to do the thing. We need to do the next the next step here, and that would be, you guessed it, a tier three orb. So I want to get a tier three orb so that I can craft the next tier of path, right? Which will give me a stronger. You can see in the top left corner there. Um, bonus percentage right so like bonus is currently 60 percent we have a really large tranquility modifier but the bonus is capped at 60 percent until we upgrade this multi-block structure right so that's that's kind of the deal of where we're at right so i'm just going to do that that should fill the thing up entirely now if we look at the uh the next tier orb which we need to make uh the magician's blood orb right i'm going to add that to my to-do list Right. I also made an alchemy table. Displacement runes are also on my to-do list. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so we need an empowered diamond team crystal. Yay! Remember that thing that we need for a lot of different things? Yeah. This is unfortunately a pretty expensive craft, right? Um, empowered diamond team plates. Like I just don't know a way around around making these. Wow, you can empower the plates directly. That's interesting. Still doesn't save you. Like the 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 tough part of this. The tough part of this is the actual diamantine crystal needing terra steel. That's the hard part of this, right? Um, so, so we can straight up just make the empowered diamantine block. We need some blood infused glowstone, which doesn't look uh, too bad. I remember there being a sneaky way to make this. I think it's just uh, what was this? There's like a low percent chance of this coming out of other stuff. Centrifugal separator is a to-do list. I can just throw glowstone on the blood altar. That'll work. Tier 3, though, but we have a Tier 3 now, so yay. Uh, Blood-infused glowstone, cool. So I guess we throw some, some glowstone on there and we should be cool. So let's get our Empowered Diamond Team so we can get our Tier 3 Orb, so we can have better Blood Magic stuff. I really wanted to use my first Empowered Diamond Team for Phantom Boosters. I really, really wanted to do that, because Ender Casings require them, right? And I need one block will give me nine Diamond Team, so I could get two of the three required boosters from my first Terra Steel. And that would help cut down on the mining that I need to do between episodes. But that's not something you guys see. It's something I have to do, but it's not something you guys have to see. 
So, you know. So let's see, I've got my Terra Steel here. Is this recipe a thing or no? Nope, of course not. Why would it be? We need to make it hard on Direwolf, right? Uh, so in order to make this dude, we need this, right? So we're gonna need a block of redstone. Blood-infused glowstone is nine of these. Okay, so nine glowstone ingots. And an inert blood iron, dude. So we look like we're low on iron, but we're actually okay. Uh, I'll tell you why. I went mining between episodes and we're currently. So nine of you, right? We've got the terra steel block and then we need the redstone block. Cool. Uh, how's my mining operation going? Yeah, that's right. I'm uh, I'm smelting more cobblestone, I remember now. Uh, get you in there. So we're smelting more cobblestone, but see, we're actually, I've got a lot of ores being processed for my little mining adventure. Cool. You go in there, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, so that's that, that's that. We need to get this guy going. So let's add him to the whitelist real quick. Boop. Cool. So you're going to go in there. You've got a full tank. So the plan is um, this guy requires 25,000 LP, which is why we have the runes of capacity all, all around here, right? Runes of capacity for a reason, 25,000 LP. We are up to a point of holding 22,000. And I, yeah, 22,000 LP, right? And I didn't want to, see the top left, it tells you the max is 22,000. I didn't want to... Uh, change this or, or, or make more because the runes of capacity while not terribly expensive are not terribly cheap either right uh, capacity runes I made like as many as I needed right iron promise except there it's the imbued slates the slates are just the hassle and a half to make right what it is is you need four reinforced slates and then you need the imbued slates yeah it's a little pricey. So long story short is I stood here doing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of the self-sacrifice stuff to, to get what we need to get. So it was a lot and a lot of effort. But, you know, I mean, it was a long time between episodes that I just stood here, you know, grinding through. But we got it. We got it done. We got it done. Uh, it was a little bit painful, but we got it done, right? Because, I mean, effectively, if you think about it, right, each... Each each imbued slate, right? That's that's that. Let's see capacity. Where's my capacity rune? Right. Each imbued slate is four reinforced slates, right? And each reinforced slate is four blank slates. So is my math correct in saying that I need sixteen blank slates per rune? Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. So you know, I mean, at the end of the day, all it is is, is smooth stone which is why I have that smooth stone smelting thing going on inside the house. Um, you know, that's all it really is. That and time. So, you know. But between the regen flower and that thing helping me out a little bit, it wasn't that bad, but it was definitely a lot of time. All right, so let's see. You are cooking up. I need a few more of these, right? So let's come back in a minute once this is all done, and then we'll get ready to uh, imbue uh, and, and make empowered diamantine, right? What I think I'm going to do is just do that. You can make that, right? Yeah. And then we'll do the thing over here. And then this guy, he's been doing a pretty good job. Cool. I'll, uh... Yeah, you still have a little bit more work. So what I've been doing over here... Did I do this on camera last episode? I made mana spreaders, right? Um, and I have half the endo flames feeding into this one. The other half of the endo flames feeding into this one. And this mana spreader is my leaves production, which you can see is just activating right now. Cool. How great is that? Let's see, I'll swap it to this, see? And he's he's feeding mana in like nobody's business. Pretty good job, right? And then every now and then what I have to do, whoops, I didn't really want to do that, but that's okay. Get all that stuff back out. Uh, we get you and we get the building gadget, wherever that gadget is. Building gadget, where are you? There you are. It's not in the backpack, that's why. Grab two stacks of saplings. Come over here. And void. Right? And I've kind of got that layout pretty well set up. Cool. So I've got like the right sizing to void that area. And then boom, a new set, and we're ready to replant. How, how cool is that? 
I'm just voiding the wood at this point because, as a reminder, I have 4096 wood, I've got 4096 charcoal, and I've got 3877 red coal. Uh, the reason is because I keep feeding red coal into the dropper over there. So, yeah, FYI, we're doing pretty good on all those resources. So that's nice. So we're, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the massive amount of automation that we have, which is which is great. So let's refill this thing, right? Because you need enough life essence to make more of that. Perfect. Let's eat some food. And we'll be back in a minute when the rest of that glowstone is ready. All right, a real quick nap through the night because uh, obviously it got late while I was doing all my talk in there. Uh, why did I make uh, that, that, that alchemy table? So between episodes, obviously knocked out a few quests like I usually tend to do. Um... So in the black magic tier, I made the imbued slates, right? Oh, I got infusion crystals for that. Nice. And reinforced slate blocks. Beautiful. Um, uh, those reinforced slate blocks are actually pretty nice. Those are the tier two version. That's actually super nice. I will definitely take those. Um, and inert blood iron. Oh, lots of blood cells, actually. Where are you at, blood cells? Why don't you go into there? We've been making lots of inert blood iron, obviously, but, um, you know, it, it was a quest, so I knocked it out. And then um, you want to make, make an alchemy table, which is cool. And we'll put the rest of this junk away, so you guys all go away. Infusion crystal, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, he wants me to make a displacement rune next. Um, I don't know why. It allows you to increase the speed on your mill buckets per second transfer rate for blood for insert blood in and out of the altar this can be useful for automation and the stockpiling of blood that is true that is not untrue right what i'd really love to get is a drop of evil but i think we're still a ways off from that not too much of a ways off not like an impossibility of a ways off you know it's actually not too bad majestic dust huh white and dark okay I mean, that looks within the realm of possibility. I think we said proxy ingots might be a little bit tricky right now. Right? Isn't proxy a little bit tricky? It's an alloy, palladium, promethium, and ezo. Fluids I've never even heard of. So that's not a good sign. <laughs> not a good sign at all. Uh, ezo ore. Okay. You'll find it at Y level 3 sometimes. Really, really rarely. Yeah, so a few ores that are tricky to get at this point, but not, 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 not impossible. Not impossible. Maybe, maybe doable soonish. So I did tell you guys at some point that I moved this downstairs, right? Well, in case I didn't, guess what I did? Guess what I did? Oh, you should be going on there, sir. Why don't you want to go on there? Oh, because that's mana diamond. Wait. That's right. We want diamond teen. Duh, dire wolf. What am I doing? Come on, dire. Where's your brain? Where is your brain? I got magic on the brain. That's my problem. Well, I mean, I need that anyway, right? Do we have mana pearls? Because I need more... More mana steel. Or more terra steel. So that's not going to be a problem. But diamonds can go into there, can go into there, can go into there. Hooray! Empowered Diamantine. The first time. Gotta love it. And then that's going to lead to the Tier 3 Orb, which will lead to uh, better, better mana infusion points and whatnot. I don't know how much better, but better nonetheless. Okay, so now what we want is a full altar and a charged knife ready to go, right? So you're at that much, right? So right now, by the way, we're getting, we're at 8,300. We do that. We're at 17,200. So just shy, like right around 9,000 LP per operation there, right? Right around 9,000. So we're going to see how much we get after we improve this wooden path and everything. And I don't need full health here because I wasn't that empty, right? So I do want full health for this one. Cool. Because we're, we're shy 3,000, right? So the plan is let this go down. 
right? When we get, you know, halfway empty or down to 10K-ish, we'll go ahead and hit the thing and then we'll be good. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Let's do it. Crafting up the tier three orb from Blood Magic. And that's gonna open up a lot of powerful stuff for me, right? Least of all, yoinks, will be uh, the capability to, to just store more LP, which will be more flight time with my air sigil. Um, and that'll make finding the the deep or the end even better, right? Because there's some ores in the end that we need to get. Um, so that's that's what's up. What I really need to do is is, is figure out how I'm going to teleport to the end. There's a few options for teleportation, obviously, right? There's astral. Uh, I think blood magic has a teleporter, doesn't it? Mechanism has a teleporter. So there's a few options for teleporters. I'm just not sure what is going to be useful for me right now. We're going to want to figure that out. Hopefully the end isn't too far from here. But hey, look who's got a oof tier three blood orb. Hooray, hooray, indeed. Uh, nice. All right, cool. So you had a few other things to do. Let's come back in a sec. All right. So as you can see, uh, in order to make the stone brick path, which is the next level, after that is worn and then finally obsidian. Uh, but, you know, stone brick path. This is like the tier two version of this, right? You need either a magician, which is three, archmage, master. Those are your options, right? So you need at least that. So now that we have a magician, we should be able to make... Now we need two by three. So we need six times four is 24. Luckily, I have more yeah. stone that I've been cooking up. Six times four is 24. That should be sufficient. Cool. Um, and let's get our exchanging gadget here. What I'm gonna do, did my controls get all wonky? I did update the pack today. I did update the pack today. Did you lose all my control settings? Cause I really hope not. Gadget anchor, range and overlay, settings menu. That's weird. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, I'm gonna want a horizontal column of range three. Cool. And we're gonna put that there and that there and boop boop. And a boop boop. And a boop boop. And a boop boop. So now if we check this out, we'll see that the bonus is gonna be higher. Nice. It's at 120 bonus now. So we're already capped out, right? Like we could add more things here, but I think that's the maxed out point. Right, because if we're at 1644, we can do things like this. And now we're at 1704, but we're still at 120% bonus, which is cool. Which means that we're gonna get that much more LP per operation, which is pretty awesome, frankly. So we're at 5.9 buckets. So let's round it up just to say six. I do that and we're at 18. Cool. So now we're getting 12 buckets of LP per operation. Way better than like the tiny amounts we were getting before. Huge, huge improvement, right? Totally loving it. Totally loving it. So that's great. All right, so you go back in there. Do we have more compressed stone? We do. I want you to just keep operating and every now and then I'll swing by, do more LP sacrifice stuff and that'll be awesome. Now when we upgrade the thing next time to the next tier, which we may or may not even do, because usually by the time you get to tier four, that's when you can start having automated mob killing, right? And that's that's usually a really good time. Cool. All right, let's sleep through this night. Um, the next thing I wanna do is just look at these quests. Now we definitely have to head to the end soon, but I wanna see what these quests are about. Because um, you wanted me to make four of these, right? And then you wanted me to make, and I'm assuming that that's, okay, 5,000 LP. So I need 20,000 total. So let's take you out of here, Chief. 22, perfect. So you guys go in there. Actually, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to need a lot of these, so I'm not going to add them to the whitelist. 
I'm annoyed though because I see that um, blood infused glowstone is next, and I just made a few of that. So I don't know. Let me craft these real quick off camera and see what this leads to, because I'm curious. Oh, FYI, I'm gonna drag this modifier down to 20%, um, just because we can really hold a lot more LP now, so we don't need it to be so uh, so restrictive. 20% sounds like a good number to be at. That'll be uh, 4,400. So as long as we have 4,400 in there, we should be fine. Um, and and just to be clear, the imbued requires 6,000. All right, maybe I should make it like 25%. That seems like a good number. Yeah, 25%. Maybe 30%. Yeah, 30% should be what, 6,600? 6, yeah, yeah. 25 is probably good. I like that. Cool. I got one more of these to do, but they're really slow. Man, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Focusing on these upgrades, the, the the one downside of Blood Magic is there's a lot of tedium early on to, like, really... But once you get those upgrades in place and you understand how, like, the sacrifice runes and the augmented capacity runes and all that stuff works, uh, and the tranquility bonuses all start stacking up, it gets really not bad at all. All right. So let's try a couple other things. Uh, so I want to get one of these. I want to get two of these. Just... just seeing where this quest lead because i think we're about to do a quest that i already did if i'm not mistaken uh so glass lapis block huh there you go bada bing bada boom and then my orb which is my good one hooray gem of tartic will nice i'm gonna hang on to that orb for a minute um then in addition to that we're going to need three cells Three empty cells. I'm gonna fill with water real quick. How you guys doing? Not too shabby, not too great. We'll make that help. Cool, recharge that dude. Get my three cells filled up. Gonna need more bread soon. I know, I know, I know. Food quests. Do like every YouTube comment. When are you gonna do food? Dire food. Food, please. All right, Reinforced is tier two. There's the other three. You should be able to do that pretty easily. Once we drop below nine uh, into the nines, we should be cool. So nice. So nice. Love that. Love that upgrade. So lots of slates uh, being crafted here. Used a few that we had. Made out pretty good. You should be done now. Cool, you're going into there. Thank you. That should be a quest complete? Yeah, it is, cool. All right, so we got four of these, which means I should be able to make a displacement rune now. Hooray! Which is another quest complete. Nice. Which should lead to the need to make a magician's blood orb. Which is also a quest complete. Sweet! Empowered Diamond Team gear. That's an interesting award. So what I get here? Uh, Blood-infused Broad Axe Head. So this has Living 2 on it. I think the Living Modifier, if I'm not mistaken, can repair your tools from your Blood Network? Is that right? Is that right? Traveler's Logbook. New chapters updated. I don't know what that means. I updated the pack, remember? I said that earlier. Um, tool Materials. Supremium. Uh, blood infused iron living two heals itself via the user's soul network correct so it uses this to heal the player which is cool uh speaking of my soul network let's charge it up which is also a cool idea hooray and i could really use some more rice bread please and thank you Nice. Okay, so with that hooked up, what do we got next? Uh, so that was that. Blood-infused glowstone dust. You give me another one of those. Displacement runes. Got me another one of them. This is actually nice. The empowered diamond team gear. I don't know what I need that for. I'm assuming something. Uh, lots of things, eventually. The NASA workbench. A solar panel. Centrifugal separator. Ooh. 
I do want to make one of those very soon. So that actually is really helpful to me. That's exceptionally helpful to me. Uh, I can smelt it into empowered diamantine crystals, which I could totally use for that thing that I want. Oh, and it's also necessary for ascension armor gem, which might not be a bad idea. I remember that armor being pretty good. I really do. Ooh, an empowered oil? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. That's like the next year of oil. All right, so put this stuff away for a minute. Um, now, is that one of those I'm being really nice and giving you something you need in advance? So now you want me to get into rituals, huh? And bound tools, right? Um, so I can make the bound weapon. Ooh, 10 5x compressed cobblestone? Wow, that's a lot of cobble. Uh, that's neat. Cool. And then you're going to want me to get weak blood shards. So this is leading to the tier 4 altar. Remember? Basic rituals and tier 4 altar. Including, remember, that rituals... Uh, and I think the current ritual tier that we have could allow for things like the growth ritual and a handful of other things. But if we want the ritual that automatically kills monsters so that we get LP, that's a tier 4 altar. That requires a tier 4 altar. Um, so I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. Right? I don't think I want to do that just yet. I do want to do it, just not right this minute. Cool? So let me put away the rest of the nonsense in my inventory that I have, right? Um, I do want you doing your job. Let's put you into here. The weak blood orb can go away for a minute. Uh, I'm going to put all my blood magic-y stuff in my blood magic. Oh, boy, it's dark out. Dark out is bad. Dark out's always bad. Don't go outside. All right, so we're at 32,000 LP stored, which is nice. Boop. A little bit more LP coming your way, buddy. Loving it. Loving it. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do, hopefully no monsters showed up. Can we get you charged? Because what I'm what I'm making sure I do is constantly burning mana. Right? It's important to constantly use your mana. Because we don't have a huge mana pool reserve at the moment. So by constantly burning mana like that, we are making sure that we're not wasting any time. Because I need lots of Terra Steel for lots of different purposes, right? Beautiful. Lots and lots of Terra Steel for lots of different purposes. So I want to make sure that we constantly have this stuff going and we constantly have this burning so that we can do things, right? And luckily, Terra Steel Crafting is a little bit faster when you have three pools. Nice. Three full pools. It's about half a pool of mana for a Terra Steel, roughly speaking. So three full pools would get me six. These were by no stretch of the imagination full. So I should probably be able to get about four of them out of this thing. But that means the next time they're full, I'll easily be able to get five more, and that'll be another block, and that'll be another Diamantine Empowerment. Cool? So not too bad, realistically. Just a little bit of patience, and we're good, right? I might be able to sneak one more out of here. What do you think? Think we got enough? You can do it, guys. You've got the mana. All right, you might not have the mana. That's all right. I've got a solution. I've got a few batteries going on. A little boost. So close. Finish it up. Nice. And remember, a tablet is also about half a pool. So keep that in mind. The best part of this new orb is it really boosts the amount of LP that my network can hold, which just means I get to fly around a lot more frequently, right? Now, currently, I have no automated LP drain, which means I'm not doing any rituals. I'm not doing anything that automatically drains LP. So the only time we're losing LP from our soul network is when we're doing things like activating the air sigil or lava sigil, which I don't do lava a lot, right? But I think the next task I'd like to do for myself, um, you know, if, if you guys are on board with it, would be an eye of ender. Let's go find the end portal. How's that sound? Right? So now, we don't have a lot of ender pearls, but we'll be able to get more. Not a problem. Um, I just want to find the thing and mark it. So, you know, obviously the air sigil is going to make that a lot easier, right? Zipping around town is going to be great. 
What I would like to do is keep an eye on you, so you're nice and empty again. Whoosh. I forget how much I can hold, but I want to say it might be 100,000, whereas the previous tier was like 25,000, so it's like four times as much if I'm right, uh, which would be great, because I would love to be right about that. It would be a nice thing to be right about. It means I have lots of LP for uh, flying around town. So the plan is find the end portal. Don't have enough eyes to open it, probably, but at least find it. We'll probably want to kill the dragon. Right, I means bring a bro, like bring a bow. We probably won't do that this episode, though. I think what I'm gonna do right now is just find it and bookmark it. So I'm kind of curious if my hundred thousand is correct. Is that where I'm gonna stop at? Oh wow, it's more than hundred thousand. Oh my, that's actually really nice. I don't know what the number is, but it's a bigger number than hundred thousand, which is cool by me. All right, you go in here, you do this. I'd like you to start working on more of that. And then we're going to go find the end portal, right? So let's head off in a uh, very specific direction, whichever one the Eye of Ender leads me to, right? So you can go away. Where are you going? That way, huh? Okay, cool. Now, are you going to do, like, the auto into my inventory thing? Nope. So I have to watch out for that, right? So basically, this way is where we're headed. Now, do you see why I wanted the air sigil? Now, do you understand why I worked so hard to get this thing. Because I knew that was going to be a good time. Right? How great is that? Hey, look, a dragon. What? What? Did you guys see that dragon? Where'd he go? Where did he go indeed? What is this? This looks like that. Oh, look, there he is. Do I want to get embroiled in a dragon fight right now? Probably not. Waypoints, new, dragon, red. Not sure if that means anything. But we're going to remember he's there. What I want to do first is find the end portal. And away we go. Whee! Right? Right, though? This, this, this here. And look at all the LP I still have left. Nice. This is why we wanted to do the thing. Is that some kind of structure in there, you think? Did it zap? Did it Did it fizzle? It might have fizzled. Tell you all? What do we got down here? Oh yeah, that's definitely like a sunken ship. That's nice. That's pretty cool. I think there's loots down here. Probably, right? How could there not be? How could there not be loots down here? I don't know. Let's keep heading off in this direction and see if we can find ourselves. Oh, look at that. One of those things. Ooh, some kind of lighthouse. That's cool. That's neat. What is this lighthouse all about? Whee. What do we got in here, buddy? This place is cool, though. Nice structure. Uh, books and boats and compasses and glowstone and nothing really, like, exciting to me. I guess I'll take the books. All right. Still off in that direction, huh? Did it fizzle again? Killing me, Smalls. All right, well, let's head off in this direction and cross our fingers. I think we found it, guys. I think we're I think we're in the middle of this, this river. Oh, yep, 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 hold on. He went down this way. Yep, this is it. This is the, this is the location, hold on. Uh, I got an idea. I got a good idea, too. Build to me. That's what's up. Also, it's getting to be nighttime, hence why the sleeping mat is already ready. Come on, don't double jump on me. Sleep. Sleep in that water. Trying to sleep in water. <laughs> Good times. So if we build me all around this corner. Wow, you are like slippery. What is going on, feet? Why are my feet so slippery? Why do I feel like I'm standing on ice? Mm 
There's some kind of like water walking or something going on. Depth Strider. I know what Depth Strider means, but it sounds cool. But this roughly is where where the structure is, right? So I'm going to dig down and uh, hopefully I'll find it. And if not, we're going to have to wrap up the episode one way or another, right? Remember, kids, never dig straight down in Minecraft. This is a bad idea. Exactly right now what I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. We found a we found one of these things. That's not a good place to be. Oh, hello. Hold on. Nobody panic. But we found one of these things. This is a good place to be. Whee! Falling into the void. Oh boy, that's bad. Okay. Gotta hide. Gotta hide. Baby spider hunter. Yep, I agree. Where's my food? Where is my laser? Laser gun? Laser gun. I can never find it when I'm in a panic. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What are you doing? Killed the support creeper. Nice. All right, good deal. Good deal. So we definitely want to waypoint this. Uh, end portal. And what I think I'm going to do is uh, between episodes, because we have to wrap up now, I am going to continue my path of doing a bad thing, which is digging straight down. Like, did I pass it? Usually it's like really deep, isn't it? Because there was some mossy cobble up there and there ain't no more mossy cobble down here. I feel like I passed it. Right? Another good reason to have this air sigil. Cool. Uh, we can turn this waypoint off because it's blinding me. And we're going to wrap up the episode here. Come back next time uh, after I've found the end portal because clearly it's in this general area. And uh, for now, Del Toy signing off. Hope you guys... Hey, there we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. So I just have to explore down here, right? That's absolutely a good idea. All right, Del Toy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. For now, take it easy. What is that? It was like a booby trap, booby trap chest of some kind. Have fun. All right, guys, take it easy.